This video contains a cast off figure with depictions of female nudity and genitals. If you do not wish to see such things, then please close this video now. If you don't mind, then welcome. Hello everybody, it's Mirialda here once again, and welcome back to a figure unboxing. Yes, we have the laundry, laundry girl herself, Suikawa Amane, in front of us. Uh, she is a cast-off figure, as you, I said in this little intro. Um, and yeah, her boobs and her lady bits are going to be visible. I will try to group them all into one section, so that if I have to edit them out, it'll be a little bit easier. Or, and if I remember, I'll put timestamps too, so you can skip it. But we'll see. I am known for my laziness. <laughs> but anyways, in front of us we have Laundry Girl, aka Suikawa Amane. I guess the Japanese can translate it as Midorikawa as well, but it's supposed to be Suikawa. Uh, she's an original character manufactured by Daiki Kogyo, and she released on June 14th of 2021. I ordered her back on September 25th of 2020. Uh, paid for her on the 16th and received her today on the, what is today, the 21st of June. So DHL took their sweet time. Um, she was not cheap. She cost 17,760 yen pre-ordered at AmiAmi, which at the time of conversion was $168.23 for me. There was a, a version of her that had an AmiAmi bonus. I did not get that. It was an acrylic plate. I'm not the biggest fan of those. It is what it is. Um, she is cast off. She's got two faces. Her clothes come off. She's got some ribbons. Stocking to stay on. Uh, and yeah. So I was very excited for this one. She, the pr promotional pictures, she was very, very beautiful. And I'm like, I, I just had to get her. Uh, and then last week, so, some pictures of the pr finished product was released by on the Daiki Kogyo blog. And they look like ass. Like, not the good ass, the bad ass. So, I'm preparing for disappointment. She does look better in the box so far than what I've seen online, but, like, this is the promotional picture of her face and her hair, and it's gorgeous. And this, like I said, it looks better. We'll see if it's actually good once we kick her out of the box. But anyways, there is the front of her box. There is the side of her box with the original artwork. Again, gorgeous. There's the back of the box with some information about her and, you know, warnings and stuff. There's the side of the box. There is the top of her box. And then a plain boring bottom. And I will say this, uh, just looking at her right now, she seems huge. Uh, bigger than a 1.6, I would say. But we will see when we get her out. So there is one seal. It says Daiki on it. It's a corrugated cardboard box, so she should arrive to you in one piece, I would hope. We'll take her out. Come on. Making as much noise as possible. Sorry for the shaky cam. Uh, so I will show the instructions later because they are a full color picture of, you know, laundry girl and she is doing all of her laundry, even what she is wearing. Inside the box is blue with some lighter blue circles. Put that off to the side. And there is Amane in her blister packaging. Tilt the camera back up. So yeah, much better than the uh, blog pictures, but again, I'll have to just get some close-ups to know for sure. And this will be a difficult one to show my mother. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. But anyways, just going to look at the instructions real quick. So you take her head off, there's a little snappy snap on her apron, this legs, one leg comes off. The underwear comes off, the leg goes back on, the bra comes off, arms come off, the shirt comes off on top, ribbons go on, and then head goes on and she's naked. And then you can change her face in the typical fashion and blah. So yay. Let's go ahead and start getting her open. Go. 
electrical tape on the sides of the blister. The blister is kind of crushed. And there's that. So we shall start with her base. So it is a pink disc. It is textured kind of like a felt texture. It is fabric and it's st stuck on. And being fabric, there are some creases in it. There is a very super tiny peg right there. I don't know if that's going to do any good for anything. And then in the back, there's a couple more pegs. Again, they're kind of small. They probably designed it without this the extra height of this felt. So yeah, uh, made in China. Copyright information. Woohoo! Put that down. Uh, here is her extra head. So she's kind of, you know, looking off to the side. Kind of an embarrassed expression on her face. She is blushing. And then the top of the head has some blush too. Don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera. She's got nice green and yellow eyes. And green eyebrows. Uh, looks like she's got big ears, but we'll see. And this is face A. Uh, this one is her uh, necklace for when you cast her off. So it's shiny pink. There's a bow on the front. And it's keyed. So yeah, kind of like pearl pink. And then she's got the two armbands. So you, they've both got a flat edge, which goes up against her body. And then it's the same... Kind of messy looking, but you're not going to really notice it. Pink, shiny pink with a little silver line and stuff. So yeah. And then we will take her out of the blister. She's got some weight to her, that's for sure. Set that off to the side. And let's see, she is wibbly wobbly and does not stand on her own. So yes, you do need the base. So, um, since we've got a deplastic her, I'm going to set her down, and I am going to pause the video and start it, just, like I said, just in case I have to edit this, and we shall see her lady bits. Be right back. And we're back. So, here are the instructions, just in case you want to look. So... That's how you get her underwear off, that's how you get her shirt off, and that's how you change her face. And be careful, that's how her fingers are supposed to go around the underwear. And there's the extra pieces. So yeah, um, this shirt I've read can also leave a bunch of paint transfer. So we shall be as careful as we can. So it says the first step is to take her head off. That was easy. Plastic comes off. And the bra comes off. Oh boy. Yeah, this this will be an interesting one <laughs> to show the parent. Okay, and then it says take her leg off. That slides off pretty easy. And then the underwear comes off. So it is fairly tight fitting. And carefully Move it around her fingers. Come on. And get it off. There we go. And then the apron comes undone, and that should just come off. Uh, hmm. Might be easier if we take her arms off. The arm is very tight. Let's try this one first then. Come on. Okay. That is going to be super difficult. Maybe if we just... Yeah, the arms need to come off. There we go. Uh, so there is a metal peg in the arm. Let's 
try to get this one off now. I'm trying to be careful not to rub things if I can avoid it. The apron is just in the way. Come on. Sorry, taking her out, out of frame. Come on. There we go. That was in there quite tight. So now the apron should be able to come off pretty easy. And then I guess the shirt should just... Hmm. So you got to stretch the arms and then it kind of pops off. So, so far so good paint transfer wise. Um, maybe a little bit on this side. And then she also has the, like, uh, like the ribbons, but little bracers instead for when she's wearing her clothing. So we'll take that all off. At least we shall try. Okay, so we've got Amane completely unassembled. Well, not completely yet. We'll take her fringe off and take her head out, and there we go. So yay. Uh, let's start looking at the different pieces. So there are the two faces. You got A and B. She by default comes with B, which is her kind of, eh, I guess this is supposed to be her embarrassed face. It's got the little O mouth and she's looking off to the side and the eyebrows are, are up a little bit. And again, she's blushing. Eyes look okay. And just to compare the two. A little bit more of a coy smile on this one, and the eyebrows are at less of an angle, so less embarrassed, I guess. Uh, here is her bra. It's got a little red bow, and it is very lacy and doily looking. It's got some little ribbing in there, so it's got little white lines. Not the cleanest little white lines, but it is what it is. Uh, inside of the bra, we do see the nipple holes. Uh, this is her underwear. So again, it is that satiny, you know, pink, shiny pink plastic paint. And you can see how it's pointed where she is holding it with her fingers. Um, and then the back, it really, it's not the best in my opinion. It's all bunched up and it's supposed to, you know, cover her butthole. So it is what it is. Um, we've got her her left leg. So it's a peach color paint. Uh, lots of wrinkling around the knee and the ankle and the toes. Uh, toes are fairly flat. There is the little pig hole. Guessing for the super tiny pig. And the keyed hole. Uh, good shading on this. It's a little bit shiny paint, like pearlescent. So, yay. <laughs> um... As I said, she's got the kind of flesh toned but darker flesh toned little bracer collar things for when she is wearing her clothes. Basically just spacers to take up space. Um, here are her two arms. So again, they are keyed and they have a metal peg. Uh, good shading on them. I do see uh, this arm is has some red paint transfer on it. Uh, both of them do, unfortunately. Uh, and that one's got a little circle on it. I will be displaying her clothes, but being able to cast her off is a nice option. Uh, the fingers are all individually sculpted, but the hands are definitely more shaded than they need to be, I think. They're definitely... Looks like she's been playing with some uh, spray-on tan. And then the Fingernails are painted. 
And we can see the little folds in her hand. Not super detailed palms, but you're not really going to worry about the palms. Uh, this is her shirt. It is quite shiny. Uh, and it is a rubber. Not, uh, not silicon, but not plastic. Well, I mean, it probably is plastic, but it, it feels like rubber. Uh, she's got a little balloon animal attached to her arm. She, it is not detachable. It's got good shading, a little dopey, derpy face. So, yay. And like I said, uh, if we look at the arm, you have to pull these off to the side to be able to take the shirt off. And it is bunched up above her chest, so her boobs will always be exposed. You may have the bra on or not. It's up to you. Uh, this is her apron. It's got... It has what looks kind of, to me like a pepper. <laughs> um, it's got some gray stripes and some uh, one red stripe. And it does have a bow and two tails coming off of it. And it does have a little peg, which is supposed to peg in. Uh, this will probably not be a very good system for attaching it permanently. So, yay. Put that off the side. Uh, this is the back of her hair. So there is quite a bit of, you know, sculpted hair. And she's got the little hair ties with that same, you know, shiny pearlescent pink color. Uh, it's tied in low twin tails with spikies coming out of it. And there is a gradient to a lighter gray. And she's got a nohoge. Uh, the front of her hair, it's, she's got a little love pin on her. And then the hair, it is sculpted, not as sharp as it was in the uh, promotional picture, I would say. And it had more of a like white shine to it. But it definitely doesn't look as bad as the uh, pictures in the blog. She's got little side locks as well. And then we have her body, her main body. So... Nice belly on her. Uh, obviously, big giant boobs. Uh, looking deep into there, they are welded very deep, but you probably won't notice it much. Nice pink nipples. It does kind of just, you know, fade into her skin. There is no sharp defining line of the areola. And she is a little bit cold and perky. A very nice collarbone on her and the tendons in her neck and everything. Uh, she's got some white hips on her, very narrow waist, all things considered, and white hips. Uh, shading going around her thighs, or her V-line, I sh should say. Uh, this, her left leg is, I believe, permanently attached. At least the instructions didn't say to take them off. Again, good details on the stockings and a fairly flat foot. Two peg holes. Uh, she is clean shaven, and she has a booty hole and a... Uh, you know, it's it's detailed enough. It's hope you're not really going to see it much unless you have her naked and from the back. Uh, it is fairly basically just a pink stripe with a little bit of sculpting in it. <laughs> a good detail on her back. There is shading, a uh, crud from the shirt, I guess, just rubbing on it. Uh, you got a. Some shading showing her, you know, booty line and butt dimples. Uh, there is a red paint transfer there. So, yay. Uh, let's go ahead and get her together naked. And then we will strip her again and uh, put her all together in the finished part of the video. That is for YouTube. I am just black rambling. It's not working very well. Forgive me. So we'll put on the one ribbon, and then we'll put on the other ribbon. Again, she it is keyed, so they should only go on one way. Uh -huh. That might not be the right one. Let's look at this one. It's got to be the right one. Because this one has to go on over here. So 
that's a fairly tight fit. I don't know if I'll worry about cleaning up the paint transfers or not. Because like I said, I will be displaying her clothed. Well, as clothed as she can get. <laughs> There we go. That one was a little bit of a pain to get on. Uh, let's go ahead and put her leg on. Uh, gap wise, no real gap to speak of, so that's good. Uh, let's try and get her arms on now. So this one will go on this side. Put the middle peg in the peg hole. And then just fiddle we get things lined up. There we go. Uh, I don't recommend changing her out very often because these connections will probably loosen if you do. There we go. Yeah, there is a little bit of paint transfer. Uh, let's see, We which face will we use? I think we will use her smiling face. So we'll put that in there, in her head, and then we'll put her fringe on. And then we will put her head on the peg. And then we shall try to get her on the base. Uh, let's tilt the camera down. So it's quite a tight fit, had to apply quite a bit of pressure downwards. And then, there we go, there is Amane nude. So yay. Um, so her face does look a little weird from certain angles, I believe. And I think that's just from the way it's sculpted. If you're looking at her dead on like she's supposed to be, uh, her top of her head, the fringe, is maybe a little bit taller than necessary. And with the lack of shading in her hair, it does feel a little bit more kind of blobbish. Um, let's see. If I turn the lights off and turn them on, we'll do a spin around each way and then we'll see which way we like it the best. But yeah. So... I want to get close, but I want to get the whole figure. <laughs> so, let's see. She does have a nice body. Big, giant boobs, of course. She's got, you know, wide hips, big, giant booty. Small, small lady bits and booty hole. The hair, like, the back of the hair looks real good. The front, it's sculpted, but not, like I said, not as sharp as it, or nice looking as the promotional picture. Of course, this is the different face, too. But, yeah. It is what it is. So, spin around again. And then the fun part of disassembling her again and putting her back together will be done. So, yeah. I'll move the camera back. We'll try to get the whole body in the spin around. Focus. And yeah, the lights are definitely washing her, her, out her flesh. Don't know why it is what it is, which is one of my favorite sayings. And I actually saw someone wearing a shirt that said, it is what it is. Let's see, maybe if we put her more in the center. So, as I said, yes, she looks better than the promo or the vlog pictures from Daiki Kogyo, but not as good as the uh, promotional pictures. Let's turn the lights off. So you can get more of a different view of her skin tone without it being totally washed out. She is a large figure. Definitely, definitely a large figure. Bigger than a 1.6, I would say. So yay. 
Let's turn the lights back on and then begin the tedious process of switching her to being clothed. So I am going to take her off the base. So we shall pop her head off carefully. Uh, we shall pop her leg off and then work on getting the arms off again. They, right now it's a very tight fit. You gotta be careful and kind of like pull away from her body so like when it releases you don't scratch her. Uh, we shall pop the Try to pop the ribbon off. Then try to pop this ribbon off. And then try to pop this ribbon off. Okay, so those came off easier than they went on. So now, um, let's see here. So we'll put her shirt on. Actually, no, we won't do that yet. We have to put the bracers on, the spacers. So, the one on her neck first. And then we'll put... This one goes on this side. And then this one goes on this side. And if you look, it's kind of like a deeper cup on one side than the other, the cup part goes up. Don't know if that'll help anyone that gets hurt that's a little confused. So yay, there's that. Let's go ahead and put the shirt on now. So when I took it off, it kind of worked to have one arm kind of as a pivot point, and then it like pivots around, pivot, pivot, pivot. Uh, looking up the sleeve hole, you can see the hole in the peg. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and put her leg on. I'm not gonna put her on the base, but we'll just have a look at her like this. And I'm not gonna put her arms on just yet because it'll be easier to get the apron on without them, but there she is, you know, without her bottoms, but with her shirt on. Yay. That did not work the way I wanted it to, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, so I will put her underwear on first. So it is kind of a tight fit going between her thighs. So let's see, can we spread the legs any? A little bit. And then it kind of goes up. Um, so for, from the front, it's pulled down a little bit, but you cannot see the lady bits. You just see, you know, the Barbie bits. Um, and it is loose. So if you want to use these, you definitely want to have her arms holding the uh, straps up. And you may want to invest in some putty. Just a thought. Um, let's go ahead and put her apron on now. So again, it's got that little peg. We'll have to be careful with that because a lot of times that little peg in the strap likes to break off on these types of figures. So we'll wrap it around her body. And we'll try to get it shut. And again, it it's not very strong or anything, so it likes to come undone. Uh, let's go ahead and get her leg on. And let's try to get her arms on. So this one will go right there. Yeah, 
yeah, this is very, very tedious and would be much easier without the camera in the way. So, so sorry, I'm getting the camera out of the way. Okay, I think I got that arm on. Let's try to get this arm on now. Again, we'll probably get the camera out of the way. until it pops in. And then we fiddle with the underwear so that it goes around her fingers. So it kind of holds it up, applies a little bit of pressure. Uh, we'll try to get the apron snapped a little bit better. And I am going to put her on the base now. Again, this is a very, very tight fit. Sorry to keep taking her out of frame, but you gotta make do as you try to make things work. So th yeah, this foot with the little tiny peg barely attaches. It's mainly, I don't think it's really meant to hold her. I think it's just meant to align her. And then let's go ahead and put her default face on, the B face. <laughs> kind of like her little O expression, embarrassed. Uh, since it's the one that she came with, it fits a lot easier. Let's go ahead and get her head on. So there she is with all of her clothes except for her bra. And let's see if we can get the underwear up a little bit more. Yeah, it definitely does not want to cover the booty hole. So yay. Uh, spin around and then we'll shut the lights off and spin around again. So yeah, yeah. From certain angles, her face looks real good, but then from other angles, like right there, it kind of looks strange. So she is definitely not a 360 figure, in my opinion. And you know, as this goes on and on, I don't think I'm going to be able to really cut the video up. Okay, let's see if we can get the bra on so that it doesn't fall off. Hmm. This may be difficult. Might have been something to do before we got her sh arms in. But if we can get it under the shirt. There we go. So the trick is you got it. There's a little lip at the top and you can get it under the shirt and it grabs on. Okay, here's what I was saying. Like, if you look at her face right now, like with the way it is shaped, it looks very strange. But then if we spin her a little bit, it looks very good. At least in my opinion. 
So yeah, we'll push her back now. And then kind of get things centered up. And we'll do a spin around of her fully clothed with her little embarrassed face. So, so yeah, um, looks better in person than the Daiki Kogyo blog pictures. Uh, she is definitely not perfect, not as good as the promotional pictures. She is quite large. Just comparing the face again. Maybe if we bring it a little closer. So yeah, disappointed. Uh, not totally disappointed, but not. She could have been much better. Uh, yeah. But it is what it is. We will be happy with what we get because what other choice do we have? <laughs> uh, let me shut the lights off again. We'll do a spin around of her fully clothed without the blinding white lights to kind of give you a little bit better view of her flesh tone. Yeah. I mean, I could be happier, yes, but I am pleased. Like I said, she is quite large, so that is a nice little surprise. And I think this is the angle you're meant to look at her, like kind of straight on. So good cleavage shot, you got the belly. You don't really see the V zone, the apron hides it, the uh, panties hide it. Uh, you got a nice belly button, the bra hides the nipples. It's easy enough to remove and put on, so you, that would probably be okay. The animal, stuffed animal, doll, whatever balloon thing is permanently attached. Uh, be very careful and be prepared to deal with paint transfers if you get her. So yay. It is what it is. I do like that there's the two different faces. And let's go ahead and close this off. Uh, so this is Suikawa Amane, the laundry girl. She is going to do all of her laundry. Uh, she is an original character designed or illustrated by Sukune Tiara. She is a 1-6 scale figure manufactured by Daiki Kogyo. She released on June 14th of 2021. She was pretty expensive at 17,760 yen, brand new, pre-ordered at AmiAmi, Ami, or $168.23. Uh, there was a, a version of her with a bonus item from AmiAmi. Ami. I did not get that. It would have cost more and it's not really what I wanted. So yeah, this is Amani. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Bye-bye.